This video will cover the topic, graphing an absolute value equation in the plane, basic. What does an absolute value equation look like? What does the problem for this topic even look like? Good question. Let's look at an example of a problem under this topic. Graph the equation y equals 4 times the absolute value of x plus 2. As you may remember, the absolute value of a number is the magnitude of a real number without regard to its sign. Oh, so like the absolute values of 4 and negative 4 are both 4, and the absolute value of negative 26 is 26! Exactly! This means that unless our absolute value is affected outside of itself, like being multiplied or subtracted from, our output will always be positive. Now, to graph this equation, we first need to find the vertex. We find this by finding what value of x results in our number in the absolute value equation being 0. In this case, we can see that when x equals negative 2, our absolute value becomes 0. We can now plug this value into our equation to find the vertex. This gives us y equals 4 times the absolute value of negative 2 plus 2, which results in y equals 4 times the absolute value of 0. 4 times 0 gives us 0. This means that our vertex occurs at negative 2 comma 0. Our next step is to find two points on the graph that are located on either side of the vertex. Because our vertex is located on the x value negative 2, let's use x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 1. We can begin with plugging in x equals negative 3 into our equation, which gives us y equals 4 times the absolute value of negative 3 plus 2. Negative 3 plus 2 gives us negative 1 which makes our equation become y equals 4 times the absolute value of negative 1. And the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. 1 multiplied by 4 gives us y equals 4, making our point to be negative 3 comma 4. Why don't you find the next point? Okay, we first plug in x equals negative 1 into our equation, which gives us y equals 4 times the absolute value of negative 1 plus 2. Negative 1 plus 2 becomes 1. And the absolute value of 1 is 1. Which, when multiplied by 4, gives us y equals 4. This means that our last point is negative 1, 4. Great job! Now that we have all three of our points, we can graph our absolute value equation. First, we will need to mark our three points on the graph. We will make marks at the points negative 2, comma 0, negative 1, comma 4, and negative 3, comma 4. Now, we will need to make two rays going from the vertex. The first ray going from the points negative 2, 0, and negative 3, comma 4, and the second ray going through the points negative 2, comma 0, and negative 1 comma 4. And now our absolute value equation has been graphed. Alright, so I think I got it, but let me summarize what we did, just to make sure. First, you find the vertex of the equation, and you do this by finding what x value will result in an absolute value of 0 for the equation. After this, you use the x value in the equation to get your vertex location. After that, we choose two x values on either side of the vertex and use them to find two more points for our equation. After that, you graph all three points, and then graph rays from the vertex to the other two points. After that, we have graphed our absolute value equation. That sounded great! Seems like you really understand how to graph an absolute value equation in the plane basic.